Hey guys, in this video, I'll be gifting you a free chocolate skin tone lot. Watch through the video to learn how to get this superb result using the skin tone lot. There are simple techniques you need to apply to the chocolate skin tone lot that I'm going to be sharing with you for free so that you can get this amazing result. You don't just randomly download the lot and apply it to your image. I expect to get superb results. So watch through this video to learn the simple techniques Photoshop tricks and tips that needs to be applied. So before going on to apply the lot and also show you two further steps we will take to get the best color grading result on this skin, we are going to use a spoiling brush to remove the pimples on the model's face. After removing the pimples, we are now going to use this action called the auto face FS action. You just play this action. It's going to automatically retouch the skin for you just like that with just one click you can see the before and the after so it just automatically retouch your skin that's what it does if you just apply the action now you can apply it more than once to get a very smooth result to do that you come to the auto face fs layer right click flatten the image while on the auto face fs action you play the action for the second time and it's going to smooth the image furthermore you see Let's take a look at the before and the after. Here was the before. And here is the after. The auto face FS action is the fastest method of retouching your image because it takes just one click of the action for it to go into your image and fix the roughness of the image. It's going to smooth the image while retaining all the textures. Just like this. You see, here was before and here is after. The result is superb. You can get the action with the link in the description. So after applying the action, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the color lookup. So create a color lookup. If you come to your layer adjustment down here, you can create a color lookup. This is a color lookup. So if you click on it to get this color lookup. Now on the color lookup, you load 3D lots, load the lots, go to the folder where your chocolate skin tone is, and then load this skin tone into your image like this. And on this skin tone has been applied to all the tonal range of the image from the highlight to the mid-tone to the shadow but now we want to limit it to, to just the mid-tone and the shadow to do that we are going to come to the layer max now on the layer max come to image and click on apply image so after we click on the apply image this skin tone color grading lot the chocolate skin tone color grading lot is going to be applied only to the highlights just like this but we want it to be applied to the mid-tone and the shadow to do that we come to the invert properties here and click on the invert properties now it's going to be applied only to the mid-tone and the shadow. So we we'll remove the effect from just the highlight so that we don't have a general color cast so that this lot is going to look more realistic on our image, keeping the highlights true to its original color. So you can see this was the before and this is the after. This is the first step of getting the chocolate skin tone and already we are having a very beautiful result. To further enhance this, I'm going to create a stamp visible control shift alternate e to create a stamp visible command shift option e if you are using a mac if you are using a pc is control shift alternate e if you are using a mac is command shift option e so after creating the stamp visible we are going to come to filter camera roll filter right here in the camera roll filter will come to the color and we are going to increase the temperature like this to a reasonable amount and we are going to slightly increase the vibrance now we are going to come to the effect. In the effects tab, we are going to increase the grain, increase the grain size. Now we are going to increase the roughness of the grain as well. I will come back and reduce the value of the grain. By just making this adjustment while looking at the skin, what we are trying to do, we are trying to enhance the details of the skin. So if you take a look at the before and the after, you can see that in the before, the image is losing details in areas like this when the after you can see the green added it's now making the whole thing this area like this is looking like has a lot of texture so this is a way a very simple way to increase your skin details by adding the green as like this so if you want to bring focus to the model we are going to increase the vignette like this by vignetting the edge by adding this darkness to the edge we are bringing more focus to the model's face so that's how easy it is for the final stage we are now going to click on ok to come back into photoshop so here was the before and here is the after 
see here was the before and here is the after and you can see here was the general before and here is the after don't forget how we got this smooth skin effect we use the auto face fs action link to get the auto face fs action is in the description don't forget you can also always reduce opacity you can always reduce opacity if any effect you're applying is too much you reduce opacity for the final stage in order to pop the image we are going to create a layer new layer come create a layer mode change the mode to overlay fill with overlay neutral click on ok duplicate this layer we name this dodge we name this bone we are going to dodge and burn this image in a very simple step in a very simple way so on the dodge you come to the channel you click on this icon down here is load channel as selection and come back to the dodge Take your brush make sure the foreground is white opacity should be 100 flow should be 10. now brush over the selection like this just one wipe also on this on the hair to pop the hair so come to select and deselect see the before and the after now come to the bone come to the channel click on the load channel selection come to select and inverse the selection Take your brush this time make sure the foreground is black reduce the flow to five and now paint on the areas that have been selected like this that is the opposite of the previous selection i'm going to select and click on the select so here was the before and here is the after for the shine here was the before and here is the after you can take down the opacity click down the opacity we are going to group these two together before and after also going to reduce opacity so right now i'm going to take a look at the general before and the after here was the before and here is the after if you watch through this video all the way to this point i'm very sure you must have learned something new and unique that is going to improve your retouching in general so to get the auto face fs action that we used you can check the link in the description it's smoothing our image while retaining the skin texture and giving us a realistic retouch image to get the absolutely free color grading lot, which is a chocolate skin tone lot, check the link in the description as well. Please like this video if you haven't already. Please like the video if you watched to this point you haven't liked this video. Please like this video. Also, subscribe to this channel for more free lots, more free tips, tricks, and photography tutorials.